All right, everybody, I am back with a brand new movie review. And I actually wanted to do this review uh, a while back. Uh, I actually had a chance to see Civil War uh, more than two months before it was released in theaters. We were one of the test audiences for this film. And I was uh, wanting to talk about it way back then. And then it got released, and I just haven't had a t- had the time to sit down and finally talk about this film. Uh, but this is now that review. First of all, I am going to come out and say it right off that I think it is irresponsible to release a movie like this today. Because I don't think there is a real point to the movie. And it's not that it's controversial. Uh, it's not because of this side or that side or whatever you want to perceive. It's just the fact that I think this kind of maybe stokes the flames just a little bit. And when I saw this, I went with a friend of mine, and when we got out, we both had the same complaints about this movie. Uh, first of all, the movie starts off very in a very bizarre way where the president is kind of talking about um, making strides and stopping California and and Texas, and you don't know exactly what's going on. You know that the president has been in for longer than two terms, But you don't know who to root for. You don't know who's good, who's bad, what's going on. They don't even make it clear what started this whole thing because it's kind of irrelevant like the entire movie is. Now, this movie stars Kirsten Dunst, who is the biggest name in here. You have Nick Offerman, who actually plays the president. And then everybody else are just kind of character actors. The only other person in here that was even uh, remotely... um, recognizable or well-known was, I forget his name, but he was in Breaking Bad. You can see him in the trailers. Uh, He actually had a a very intense sequence in this movie. Um, But what this, the basic premise of this movie is you've got all of these reporters, basically led by Kirsten Kirsten Dunst, who are trying to make it to Washington, D.C., because you find out that the president, they want to get an interview with the president before he gets arrested. And they've gotten word that Texas and California are making strides to get in there and to take him out. And so they want to get in there as quickly as possible to get his side of the story. And basically, you go on this two hour journey of them getting into some hairy situations on the way there. And it kind of shows you what maybe a civil war might look like to some people and and maybe to others. And some of these situations, you're just like, why did they even put this in the film? There's really no coherent um, reason for it. You find a little bit out about the characters along the way, but not much, mostly about Kirsten Dunst's character. And what's crazy about this is I don't care about the reporters. I just don't. I used to be a reporter in high school. And... I always thought growing up when you would hear about people getting to hairy situations in war and that the reporters were there and they're actually in the war zone, I thought it was always asinine. They don't need to be there. Uh, You can definitely get reporting on it from outside the war zone. And if you die in war, I don't feel sorry for you as I never have. I've never felt sorry for those people. I'm sorry that they lost their lives, but they're putting themselves into that situation. And there's no real reason to. And that's the point. And so I'm going in already with this bias against the reporters, thinking, why do they need to put themselves in this situation to begin with? Uh, Now, obviously, they want to get this story with the president. And they do such a poor job. Alex Garland, who directed this, um, uh, he just did a poor job of making you feel for these characters. Um, I mean, there's a couple of situations you get in where you're very tense and wondering if they're going to make it out alive, but you don't necessarily care about these particular characters. And there are a couple of of events that happen at the very end of the movie that I I haven't been back to see it. My wife is interested in seeing this. I may go see it to see what the differences are, and maybe I'll do an update video once I do. But how it plays out at the very end was very disappointing. Um, There was no impact to it. It was very emotionless. It was very stale. And really was kind of pointless. Now, I hope our country never gets into the situation that we saw in this movie, but, I mean, tensions are high, and there's always this side versus that side, and I think releasing a movie like this with this kind of an atmosphere is not a good 
a, a good thing to do unless you actually had a specific purpose. Now, the director, Alex Garland, did come out and say he released this movie and had specifically California and Texas as the people going up against the president because he wanted to show that you could have two opposing forces team up to go against someone who's tyrannical. Okay, I can understand that, but build a better story around getting to what you did at the end because it was ineffective. Uh, so out of out of five stars, and I have to talk about a couple of things in regards to this this rating. I will tell you that I was thoroughly engrossed throughout the entire movie. There was never a time where I was bored. So the movie does a good job of keeping you engaged and putting you in these tense situations. But to what end? At the end, when you leave, you're like, what was the point of all of this? And so, yes, the movie's competent in keeping you engaged. You're going to be interested in what's happening. But at the end of the day, it's kind of pointless. Okay. And so if I had to give this out of five stars, I'm giving it two and a half out of five. This is not a movie I would own. Um, I wouldn't, it's not something I would really want to watch again. I mean, I'll go with my wife, but I'm not going to watch it again. It's not something I would own or champion. It just, it's kind of a weird experiment, uh, that they're doing. And I, I just don't think it was that good of a film. I, I think Eric's Alex Garland should, uh, come out and kind of, uh, give some direction on this or release some sort of a director's cut with everything in there. So we kind of understand what kind of, I mean, the purpose is here and, you know, some people are going to come out and say it was very clear that it's it's to want to, to show people that they don't want something like this to happen. Well, obviously, nobody wants anything like that to happen. This movie isn't going to change anybody's mind. It's not going to change what's happening. And so I, I just don't understand why this movie was even released in the first place. All right, so there is my review on Civil War, uh, the new film by Alex Garland. You'll go, you'll be entertained, but at the end of the day, it's kind of pointless. All right, we will see you on the next review.